To guide yourself in this world use this sense of connection. The symphony, through your behaviors, look at everything through this frequency of equality and you will observe this unified dance of light, braided in all things, collaborating gently with you so that your sovereign entity will rise as one. This is my expression of love for you. You are not this human instrument, you are the spirit who directs it. You decide how you should be, what to do, say, eat, etc. It is your thoughts that direct each act that your human instrument does. If you are happy, or are sad, you feel fit or sick, you are hungry or thirsty, etc., is because you have decided it. You've decided what to listen to. When you hear the voice of the ego mind, all those decisions pass through the filter of fear, because you believe you are a limited body. Being disconnected from the source, your thoughts are self-destructive. Your unconscious guilt weighs on you and adds to your conscious guilt for the non-loving acts that you believe you have performed in your life. That is how your thoughts degrade your human instrument. When you hear my voice, all your decisions pass through the filter of the love that you are. You know who you are and therefore you know you are not this body. Your will is my will being who you truly are. You are connected to me. This means that you live in alignment with love, and love is joy, health, fullness. So you feel healthy and happy, and you are automatically healthy and happy. You don't need anything because you are already full of love. You know that is your light. You are in this instrument of exploration, and you give it only what the intelligence of your heart tells you. The shadow of fear has disappeared in you because you walk beside me. You are not a limited being because you are not this instrument of expression. Your human instrument may exist or cease to exist by your decision. Nothing happens by chance. To get out of this deception, you have to understand that fear is part of the program. In your true nature, fear does not exist. What has trapped you is the guilt you experience by believing that you are the cause of all your ills because you decided to separate. Even if you are not aware of it, you are afraid of having done that act. And this fear is so great and deep that it prevents you from trusting yourself. You're afraid of what you believe you are, and therefore you reject it. The ego mind projects illusory images about your world of everything you reject about yourself. The goal is to prevent you from seeing your true reality and from remembering that you never separated. That is why every time the ego mind stokes that fear and that distrust, you don't feel it inside, but you perceive it in something external to you. Your dread is now hidden. It is unconscious. If you don't see it inside, you can't heal it because you think it's not yours and you don't see it in you because you think everything else is different from you. Your distrust and fear do not allow you to live in constant peace. You think you can be attacked by something or by someone. You reject something you have judged as bad for you, but they are all projections of your thoughts of culpability. If you feel guilty, you attack. You want to believe that these attack projections are real. 
because they justify defending yourself, but in defending yourself, you attack your own being. There's nothing external to you. It's you who attacks yourself and attacks you because you think you deserve that attack. You're not guilty of anything. Your mind projects illusory images that prevent you from seeing the light that is in front of you. By wanting to hurt your projections, you don't hurt them, you hurt yourself, and that deepens your sense of guilt.